pretty big breaking news out of Georgia today. The Court of Appeals here agreeing to consider removing DA Fannie Willis from her Trump RICO case. Pretty big win here for Team Trump. You'll recall that the lower court judge, Judge Scott McAfee, found there to be an appearance of a conflict of interest with regard to Fannie's love affair with her top prosecutor on the case, Nathan Wade. Well, Judge McAfee said, you, Fannie Willis, can stay on the case, but Wade has to go. Well, the defendants said, that's not good enough. We want Fannie and the whole office thrown off this case. So they appealed that judge's ruling, and now that breaking news coming this morning, the appeals court saying, okay, yes, we will hear your case and consider it. So if Fannie had hopes of bringing this trial before the November election, that is all but certainly not going to happen now. But that, of course, is not only Fannie's problem here in Georgia. She's also still dealing with that state Senate investigation into her alleged misconduct. But every time she addresses that publicly, uh, she seems to just dig herself into an even deeper hole. This week, the embattled Democrat stood defiantly before the press and told them she will not testify before the Georgia Senate committee even if it subpoenas her. Her comments came as she stood alongside a coalition of black clergy members here in Atlanta who were endorsing her for re-election. Listen. Will you appear before a Georgia uh, Senate committee uh, without a subpoena? Well, first of all, I don't even think they have the authority to subpoena you know. me, but they need to learn the law. That, that, yeah. So will, will you appear, yes or no? I will not appear to anything that is unlawful. And I have not broken the law in any way. I, I said it, you know, I'll say it amongst these leaders. I'm sorry folks get pissed off that everybody gets treated evenly. <laughs> and Republican Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones, a likely candidate for governor in 2026, fired back at Willis saying, quote, if subpoenaed by the committee, she will be required to appear or she will be in violation of Georgia law. This is what treating everyone evenly looks like, even if DA Willis doesn't like being held accountable. Now, the Senate committee, which does in fact have subpoena power, is holding a series of hearings on the matter. The investigation was launched in light of Willis's affair with her now former top prosecutor on the Trump case, again, Nathan Wade. Uh, Willis has really just been shrugging off the investigation this entire time. Uh, she was speaking to media at a community event on Friday, and she once again makes this all about race. Isn't it interesting when we got a bunch of African-American DAs, now we need uh, daddy to tell us what to do. So y'all can go put that, that can be your sound bite for today. But today I am here so I can reach my community and this is really messing up my business. Her former lover, Nathan Wade, is uh, also making headlines this week for saying this in an interview with ABC News. Workplace romances are as American as apple pie. It happens to everyone. And as for uh, that Georgia State uh, Senate investigation, the committee does not have the authority or the power to sanction Willis, but certainly it can subpoena evidence and witnesses, uh, and also it can uh, propose changes to state laws with regards to oversight on rogue DAs, as well as how these DA offices are ultimately funded. Now, if she does not comply with a subpoena, she could face contempt charges. We, of course, will be following all of it. That's the latest here in Atlanta. We'll send it back to you.